Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the Title Block Editing Webinar. I'm just going to go over a quick lesson overview of what we're going to cover today. The title blocks that are automatically associated to your workspace in Envisioneer are 24 by 36 pieces of paper, but these sheets can be any size that you want to specify. Part of your default catalog with Envisioneer includes several various sizes of title blocks that you can insert. Envisioneer ships with many different title block options in a DWG format. You can also bring in any custom title blocks in DWG format that you may have already created. So let's see how we can insert some of these title blocks. Some of the topics we're going to cover today are going to be inserting a title block and editing a title block. The first thing we're going to look at is inserting a title block. So there are many alternate title blocks that ship with Envisioneer that you can insert into your worksheet view to use instead of the default 30, 30, 24 by 36 size sheets. To do that, what you can do is you can, uh, with any of your drawing sheets open, you can go up to Insert, and you can select the Import CAD file option. When you do this, this is going to open up the Open dialog box, and it's going to allow you to select the Title Blocks folder. And then in that Title Blocks folder, is a list of all the different types of title blocks that are created in a DWG file format. And we're just going to use a portrait style D1I size DWG drawing file. And we're going to say open. This is then going to bring up the import dialog box. Now you have all these controls here that you can adjust the size, angle, scale, all that information. But since we're inserting a title block that has a set size, we want to leave that as it is. And we're just going to say insert. This will then bring up the Edit Attribute dialog box, and we'll touch on the attributes in a minute. But to go through this, you can edit the project address, the project name, the client name. All of this information can be adjusted using this Edit Block Attributes dialog. And I'm just going to change the date here to be 2018, and we'll say OK. And now attached to my cursor is that DWG title block that we are bringing in. And if we zoom in on the corner here, we can see that it changed the date for me. So that's one way of inserting a title block. We also have predefined blocks already created. So if I were to say up into my blocks area or insert blocks, insert block, and I use my drop down window here, we have a bunch of different title blocks already created as blocks that you can insert into your drawing. So if I wanted to do a uh, 18 by 24 or 11 by 17, I would just say OK. And again, you're going to get the edit block attributes, which again, you can go through and customize, changing the sheet name, the sheet number, uh, the drawing subset name, or the scale. And when you say OK, attached to your cursor is that title block. So again, you can insert title blocks based on the import CAD file option or using the import block option from the blocks that we have already predefined in this drawing space. The next thing we're going to look at is editing a title block. And I'm just going to delete out these other title blocks that we added in here. So title blocks consist of lines, text, images, and attributes. You can edit its individual components or add objects to it. Any changes or additions you make are automatically saved to the block's definition. And therefore, any instance of that block in your, in your entire project are automatically updated as well. So to edit a title block, what you can do is with the title block visible, you can just select it. And on the right-hand side of the screen, under your object properties, you're going to see uh, an edit definition and an edit attribute. We're going to select the edit definition. And when you do that, you're going to notice a gray dotted line is going to be present on your screen. And that's this here. So basically what we've done is we are, we are now inside the definition of that title block, or we're inside the block itself. And it's breaking it up into the individual lines. So if I select this before I go in, you can see it's all one block. But when I select the edit definition, I get that gray line, and now all the lines are individual lines themselves. And what this allows me to do is I can now go in and I can add to it. 
So if I wanted to add a line in here to break up this title block, I can just type in L for line, and I'll draw a line across that box to break it up. I can change the line style or the layer of that, style, of that line to be the title block to match the rest of it. I can add text in here. So I can go to Tools and select Text. And then here I can type in text and I can just call this stamp and say OK. And I can place that stamp text in here like that. I can also move these lines around to make it more appealing. So I can go in and say right click and move and move this up or down as I see fit. I can also adjust the style of the text in here as well. So if I wanted to change the dimension style, or sorry, the text style, uh, the size, the color, all of that information can be adjusted as well. I can also adjust the actual image for my title or for my logo. So instead of using the default CAD soft logo, if I have my own logo, I can actually go into the properties of this and I can just adjust it. So I'm gonna to go to and just use a, a image here and I'm gonna change the size of this to be, uh, we'll do 10 feet by four feet. And we'll say, okay. And you can see I now have an image for my new logo. Now you can also see that that gray dotted line is still there. When I'm finished editing this information, in this title block, I just simply hit the escape key on my keyboard and that takes me out of the editing mode and it's now back to being a block. And what this now does is since I've made that adjustment to the block itself, any instance of that block that is in my drawing is gonna be updated as well. So as you can see, all of my title blocks now have that new information. So I'm gonna go back to the main one and now we're gonna look at attributes. So attributes are text which is attached to a block that changes with the insertion of a particular block. So for example, you can add attributes to a title block that prompt for the designer's name, the current date, or the drawing sheet number every time someone inserts the title block into a drawing. Each separate insertion of the block can have unique attribute text values. So each title block can have its own sheet number as an example. That is what makes them different than just adding in text. Each insertion of a block that has text will have the exact same text, but each insertion of a block that has attribute text can all be different. Once you define the attribute, you insert it into your drawing, and then you capture the object and attribute in a block. So to edit an attribute in an existing block, which we have here with our title block, all you need to do is you can simply select the title block and select the edit attributes, or you can go up to your insert blocks and say edit attributes, and then select the block that you want to use. And then once that edit, once you've selected it, the edit attributes dialog box pops up and you can actually go in and make adjustments to the text that it's gonna be a part of that attribute. So for example, this one, we have our A1 sheet. We can change that value to be any number we want. Uh, we can change the scale, the sheet name, or the drawing subject set name. Again, you can select that, and you can simply just select the edit attributes, and you're gonna get the same dialog box. And if we make a change here, we call this, uh, we'll call it A5, and we'll change this to be RCP for reflected ceiling plan. We say okay. Now we can see here we have our drawing name as RCP and we have our sheet as A5. And that will only change for that one particular title block. All the other title blocks will still have the information assigned to them because that's what the attribute contains. So let's say we want to create our own attributes. Well, to do that, all you need to do is you would go up to your uh, inner worksheet view, you would go up to insert blocks, and you can say insert attributes. And this is going to bring up the insert attribute dialog box. And what we have here is the tag is the first option that we see here. And you can simply go in here and you can type in um, 
a name, for example. So the name of the attribute as you would like to appear when the attribute is inserted. So for example, if the attribute is for a person's name, you can type name. So we're just gonna type in name. And then the prompt is what you want that to be. So when you see the prompt, this is going to be, um, we're gonna type in, for example, enter your name. That's what you're gonna see when you insert this title or insert this attribute. You also have the ability to control how the text is going to look. So you can change the text style. You can also change the size, the color. You can change it, the bold, italic, or underline. Again, this is all information that you can adjust to adjust the text, how it's going to appear. And you can also adjust the justification of that text. So I can make sure it's left, right, or center justified. If you want the attribute to have a predefined or default value when you insert the block that contains it, you can enter the desired text in the edit window. So for example, I'm going to be working on this, so I'm just going to put my name in there, Nick. And then we're going to say, OK. And now attached to our cursor is that attribute. I'm going to quickly draw a rectangle around this. And then we're going to add in another attribute, which is going to link up with our project manager. So I'm going to draw in that rectangle. And then under File, Project Manager, I'm going to make an adjustment to the project name. I'm going to call this Dan's house. That's going to be the project name. And I'm going to say OK. I'm going to go back into my insert blocks, and I'm going to say insert attributes. And this time, instead of typing in a name for the tag, I'm actually going to pull up the list here. I'm going to select project name. So that's going to link back to the project manager. And as you see, the prompt and the text area become blanks. I can't edit that. And the reason for that is because we already have the information we need based on the project manager. So I don't need to do anything else from here. I would just simply say, OK. And now attached to my cursor is the project name. And I would drop that in here as well, like so. Now I'm going to create a block of this so that I can use it and link all those attributes together. So I'm going to go up to Insert. And I can go to blocks and select define block, or I can go to the insert menu blocks and define block. I'm going to give it a name of test. I'm going to specify my base point as the bottom corner of that block. And then it's going to ask me to select the objects. And as you can see, I have nothing selected right now. So I'm going to use this button here. I'm going to create a crossing window around everything I want. And you can see everything is highlighted in green. I hit enter, and it's now telling me I have three objects selected. And then it's going to ask you, what do you want to do with those objects? Do you want to retain it as just lines and text? Do you want to convert it to be an actual block? Or do you want to delete it right out of the drawing and just create the block so it's no longer in the drawing until you insert it? Nine times out of 10, you're probably going to want to convert it to a block. So we're going to use the convert to block option, and we're going to say OK. And then we're going to enter in our name. And you can see here our enter name is Nick. I'm going to say OK. And you can see here I have our name. And then it's pulling in that Dan's house information from our project manager. And that's how you create an attribute. I hope the information I covered today is helpful for you. And I want to thank everyone for joining me. And I hope you have a great day. Thank you very much. Bye now.